y'all hey y'all so this is the long version of the painting that i did so i get to talk about more in the last one the short little mini one i talked about how my dad was so influential into why i basically quit painting so much uh but it wasn't just him it was both of my parents when i first did, was doing my art channel i was to i was painting almost every day it was very therapeutic to me i didn't know at the time i was depressed i had undiagnosed untreated adhd i wasn't working i was living with my parents and i told them about my youtube channel and i told them about my progress and the things that i was doing and i did it for a good year before they said we're done with this you have to pay your way blah 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 they wanted me to pay rent so i had to get a job and as i've said many times before it's very hard for me to work on my passions and to have a job my parents were not very supportive of my the things that i wanted to do what's hilarious now is in a way of trying to bring me back because i basically cut them off my dad sent me a message about a couple months ago talking about some i could come back to live there i don't have to worry about rent where was this when i was doing my youtube channel huh i gained 1500 subscribers within that year and i was getting commissions and i was making some money but they didn't want to invest in me they didn't believe in me they weren't supportive they're always like this they've always been like this very unsupportive didn't want to invest in my desires my plans they try to make it seem like they let me do what I want to do but it's all in the guise of trying to coerce me to doing the things that they want me to do or mostly my dad it seems he's more controlling in regards to that as far as my mom goes she's the type of person where she doesn't want to see you do better than her she's always worked a nine to five all her life a job that she complains about all the time but she kisses up to the boss and she was only ever really proud of me when i was working at amazon working at amazon you're proud of me but when i was doing my passions like making clothes or my art channel and painting where was it <laughs> where was the pride it was gone it was none in this painting i had a whole little theme that was supposed to go with the painting but i forgot it and so now i'm just doing what i want and the background is basically me using a paint from another painting that you will never see a video of that i have in this book of paintings and i know i just jumped from topic to topic i needed a break from yelling about my parents uh, and this i decided not to do a bunch of uh traditional coloring traditional skin as you could tell from the in process and i went with you know other colors but anyway back to my parents so back to my parents they were not very supportive of my art career and then my dad when he would watch my videos he would criticize the fuck out of them instead of just i hated that he would talk about how i paint too many portraits you paint so many faces how am i supposed to sell that how am i supposed to sell that what does this got to do with you bro i'm over here yelling i hope nobody looks at me and think i'm crazy but they drove me crazy so you get to hear the craziness that they drove me I'm sucking up saliva. Don't judge me. <sighs> and he would talk about how I cuss so much. I don't give a fuck. I cuss, okay? I'm a sailor. And you know what's hilarious? He has no nerve to complain about how I cuss so much. And he is the main cussing, sailing ass motherfucker I've known. He cusses all the time. He's the reason why I cuss so damn much. He cusses all the time. And yeah, he has the audacity, the audacity to criticize my cussing on my channel. I don't give a damn. The people who watch my channel don't complain about my cussing. So what the fuck do you care? That shit used to irk my whole soul. 
I ended up stopping my YouTube channel because I had to get a job and I had to, I had to move out of my parents' house for my own mental health. <sighs> and after that, I became a worker. Um, I lost, I stopped painting basically completely. Uh, I only did maybe one or two, I'd say three or so paintings or pieces of work a year which is significant drop and it weren't like some people were like oh it took me a year to do a paint yes that's a year of a very high detail beautiful ass painting i'm talking these paintings i'm talking about could be completed within like a couple days there was no high detail beautiful ass thing going on <sighs> i basically had to let go of my dreams and passions because they didn't want to pay my way. So now who I am, since he or they did not want to pay my way, as they say, and they wanted me to pay rent in the family home, I had to get a job. And now I'm finally able to do it. Now that I'm no longer paying rent, I live in my car and I could do whatever the fuck I want whatever the fuck I want sure I had to take a sacrifice and live in my fucking car but I think it's a sacrifice worth making taking waking baking shaking flaking because I can finally be at peace and do the artwork that I love to do. Yes, as you can see right here in this wonderful, beautiful painting. <laughs> and it's a lot better from when I was doing the art before because I'm not as depressed. I cured or healed or whatever the fuck. No, I didn't cure my ADHD. I healed, no, wait. I learned to cope with my ADHD. I cured my depression. And now I can make this beautiful, look at that huge ass jump, bro. I was talking to my friend on the phone and I ain't feel like recording, but, uh, oh, excuse me. Now I can do this beautiful painting. I have so many more to go. I'm doing a whole portrait series. It's a tribute to my dad who wants to complain about me doing too many portraits because I can't sell faces. I don't give a fuck about what you can sell, bro. I don't care. I don't care, 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 I don't care. <sighs> you can hear the passion in this. <sighs> but I don't blame my parents. I forgive them. And I've moved on from that. I am an adult. I'm 28 years old. When I was first doing my channel, it was like eight years ago. I was younger. No, it wasn't. I wasn't. It wasn't eight years ago. How many years ago was it? Actually, it was almost eight years ago. Ain't that some doo doo doo? Doo doo doo. Now I can do what I want. Now I can do what I want. Now I do what I want. <laughs> like Lil Uzi Vert. Is that Lil Uzi Vert's line? Sound like that. <laughs> and I do it on my own time. I felt like a part of me had died and the part of me died because I was not doing art. It wasn't that a part of me died. No, no, no. I had a hard time doing art because I felt a part of me died. But I didn't realize it was the fact that I wasn't doing art why I felt like a part of me died. And so as I started doing art again, I felt like a part of me came back to life and I was too much overthinking about doing stuff because of the shit with my parents, the shit with the YouTube channel. Also, I went to art school and I feel like when you go to art school, they teach you to do things a certain way. And my mindset and everything is an assignment. So my mindset got stuck in a, I had to do this for assignment. I had to do this for the grade. I had to do this for blah, 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 a bunch of mind babble that is obviously, you know, when you think of it in logic sense, it doesn't apply. But this is a system thing. Like this is where my mindset was at. My mindset was stuck in YouTube, right? And my mindset was stuck in 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 in, in art assignments from school so i had to reframe that thinking youtube was free for me though so i free as in freedom so i have the freedom and i don't feel like i have constraints when it comes to youtube which is why you see this video right here and it actually motivates me to do more art and uh it helps me because when i did my youtube channel i was very motivated to do art and the creativity came more because i began being creative again and so here i am back again back at it with the art 
Art is always a part of my life. I've been an artist since a birth, okay? I've been painting when I came out the womb. I came out the womb with a, a, a what, are, what are them hats? A barrette? That ain't the right word. But I had one of them hats on and a paintbrush and a canvas in my hand. I promise you that. There's a picture of it. You just won't see that picture. And so I've been painting since ever. Like, I, I, I was born to be an artist. And eventually I want to have a fashion brand, fashion line. That's my goal where I could incorporate my art into clothing, which would be such a, I have so many ideas, so many ideas. I cannot wait to execute them. I'm excited. And forget my goddamn parents and their unsupportiveness. If they don't want to support me, they'll be sad when I'm successful and they won't get shit of it. They won't see shit. <laughs> They say success is the best revenge. And some of you are like, oh, those are your parents. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I'm not listening to any of that. You don't know my parents. You were not raised by them. You did not grow up as me. You were not me. You don't know nothing. I don't want to hear none of that shit. I don't give a damn about what you think about your parents. I don't give a damn about what you think about family. Because you have not lived my motherfucking life. <laughs> it is my money and I can do whatever what I want it. Whenever I want it, however I want it, spend on whoever I want it, and I don't have to do that with my family. I don't owe nothing to my family. I didn't ask to be born. I didn't ask to be here. They decided to create me. Nobody told them to do it. They did it on their own will. So here I am. Am I happy to be alive? Yes, indeed. But that does not mean I owe my parents anything. Okay? Just supplying the bare minimum is not enough to raise a child to have a family. They lacked in so many ways. So I cannot have them in my life anymore they did not support me they did not support this and so success is the best revenge damn it some of y'all might be like oh you're being vengeful you might no i'm not no i'm not my parents are sick sick in the head okay they 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 have problems they need help and i tried to help them i spent years and energy and money on helping them and what did i end up with problems on problems on problems on problems on problems and now i'm working on these problems myself and with the help of the wonderful divine people who have been in my life my real family not my blood family and now i am here with this painting i hope y'all enjoyed this video i hope i inspired you and i see you next time peace